Oh yeah. We haven't had a session in a bit. You need to be careful with this box. Uh, it's not closing very well because you threw it before. I'm convinced. Uh, what's for lunch? Oh, a, a, a jersey for you. I'm uh, sure you'll enjoy. I, I'm, it's the new year. I'm cutting back on eating jerseys. So, um, is it a Reebok? Because those things are super light. Next on Ugly Thirds. Welcome back, sports fans, to another episode of Ugly Thirds. Today's topic is best manufacturer our jersey showdown. John Shrems. Battle at it. Battle at are, are, are Battle our mics at still it. working? Is that is that is that the right yes. woobly? Yes. Okay. Look, I'm just making check. Okay. Battle at it, he says. So uh this one is our best manufacturers. Yes. Best brand, but I don't want like branding of a team, like man the makers of jerseys. Correct. And as always, we wore our seconds. I went with Bauer. Because uh, when Bauer does it right, it is spectacular, uh, especially recently. So this is my alma mater. Uh, this is from a couple of years ago. Uh, can you jersey came in on this crest? Because it is solid. Mercer's University. Uh, go Lakers. It's thick. There's some real thick. It is staunch. It is not puffy. Uh, the, the shoulder patch, much of the same. Look at that. Even even little details. There's a lot. That's game really worn good. too. It is. Oh, of course it's game worn. That's fantastic. Yeah, you just can't. They board marks down here. Oh yeah, no, board burns. The the way the way that uh, the game worn people love it, so you can photo match this stuff. Yep. Um, big fan of this. It's great. It's well done, and I would love. I, I wish they would have got the contract. And Bauer had a very very limited jersey run in the NHL. If and, I'm not mistaken, it was just Nashville. Uh, I have a Dallas one in here, and they're not great. Then they're a little short. Okay. The fabric is a like, it kind of like it, it's ribbed almost. Like there's a weird thickness change that goes as you go. Interesting. But uh, modern Bauer and Bauer back in the day is not the same. They just say in the same way CCM back in the day was not right. Like that, the CCM Masca era is right. very different. That was that was my thought process here. This one was a little bit later of the CCMs. And when CCM was very good, very yeah. good. Yeah, um, but what I like is, uh, first of all, the underarms is, mm. is kind of gussets. different here. Uh, the gussets. Um, but for me, when they switched over to Reebok, the replica quality fell off so hard. It was like wearing a T-shirt with with slightly elevated numbers on it especially the first year or two when they were all trying to be like look how much lighter it is right faster you, you can move faster through through the concourse i guess yeah. but as a replica this thing has incredible feel to it before the adidas era i never bothered to know the difference between replica and authentic because it yeah. was so little right. other than the fight strap like what differences were there really and i w i miss that era yeah and you can't Reebok authentic jerseys were not easy to come by. They pushed those replicas, and they were fine. But when you see the difference between the replica and the the authentic, like it is night and day. And there's some some different. Like I I keep finding Reebok jerseys with stitched numbers, which usually they were printed. So like there's there's different levels even right. within, and and we're seeing the same things now with Adidas, and they're like, oh, these are printed numbers, but these are stitched numbers. But then I'm like. Oh, why is it? Why is it so? It never used to be this complicated, so, and we used to have so many more manufacturers. What you're saying is there's not an Adidas in there. No, wow. shocker. Okay, and it's not Fanatics either. Okay, you expect the flaming. In the I'm gonna comments. see what's for lunch. Now, first. really, I am basing my entire thing on did I guess yours correct? Because I have I have counters if I got it right. Well then, this is gonna be a very awkward jersey showdown. Is it because Phil did not do it right? Well, you know what? We're going to go through with it anyway. Did you also pick the same thing? <laughs> Phil! <laughs> Your job was to make sure we didn't do the same thing. We both picked pro player. Easy with that bar. Good heavens. Well, I was banking on you saying starter, and I have examples of why starter is crap. Uh... So... The starter's mid level for me. I'd take a starter over a, a Reebok. Yeah, oh well, I mean I'd take anything over a Reebok. The, I'd take an you, OT sports over a Reebok. You have a you have a you have a starter uh authentic starter though, right? That Bruins one that you got, was that authentic? The fifty six? 
Yes. Okay. Uh, it's a 54, but yes, I do. And it, even then, it's okay. There's yeah. some, the crest is, it's, it's, everything's still bubbly. And these numbers are all still ridiculously terrible. Yeah. Look how high um, that name bar is. I understand what I did wrong now. Okay. Oh, yeah, he like, understands what he did wrong the, now. The the look. Let's. I I thought you were guessing what he was unboxing, and that's what for some reason I thought like, oh, oh you're like. Oh no. I thought for sure you were doing starter. Let's... I have three examples of starter being trash. <laughs> <laughs> I shut you up before you had a chance to shut me down. I uh, yeah. No, let's, I mean, look, let's I, I, I do could... this. Okay. Uh. My angle I, is... I guess we can skip the poll. But... Yes, no poll for this one. Um, my angle is, if you are if you are going out and spending Adidas full retail right 230. now, $230, um, and you have the inconsistencies in sizing and the awful quality of the customization that people are dealing with, I can't justify spending that much money. No. No. On a jersey that, for me, fans out like a dress when it's laid out. It looks terrible. But when I was thinking best manufacturer, and it's a shame it was a one-year thing, and it wasn't even the whole NHL. Now, they did replicas, but the whole NHL had an opportunity to choose and pick and what manufacturer do you want making your jersey? So we had Nike, we had CCM, we had Pro Player. Um, the clear-cut winner was Pro Player. Oh, yeah. Like, through and through. And it's a shame that only, like, ten teams did on-ice Pro Player authentic jerseys. For, for me, I hate the puffiness that Starter gets. I, I think a lot of people like The puffy crest. Look how puff... Like, Usually that's an indication of the face. You look at how puffy the crest right. is. Unless and how it's a starter. Puffy the know. stitching. Yeah. As as one of our commenters said with this jersey, like the more fake it looks, the more you know it's real in a starter. Yeah. Which is completely true. Um, and there's only a handful I have with starter names on the back, but that, I mean like it's just as puffy. My uh and and so uh, if you remember from our uh, uh, starter the, fashion what jersey. Is this a crest for ants? <laughs> well, there's that. And look inside of that crest. I've never seen that happen. I got this for 25 bucks, so I'm not going to come. And it, it's the reverse retro, it's 20 like, years before reverse retro. It's like that paper is coming off. Yeah, the underne- underlying paper of the of the puffiness is gone. And I'm like, how? what? What is this crest actually made it's of? It's like disintegrated. It disintegrated. And thank God it was cheap. But the fact that I have that it existed, the reverse retro, 20 years before reverse retro. Starter had a good position in a fashion sense. Like yes. if they wanted, If they wanted to keep things... In a, in a pennies catalog, that starter is the way to go. But to make them an on ice official representation, not a good choice. I like some volume in the crest, which is the one thing Adidas has been doing with the the puff the the popped parts, the three D. Sure. You know, and Pro Player generally had that. I mean, you want to look in this, the edges of this ribbon, Phil. Yeah, that's not going to do it. We need that re upgrade jersey cam. The, like yeah, okay, there there is a definite like thickness there's, here. There's texture, right? And though this is EPS and not directly, you get a similar thing on the back. The numbers are still good. They're not thick and puffy, but they're they're, they're solid. Yeah. Um. And I mean, like, same thing here. You know, the parts that you expect to be raised are it just it it looks quality, and the fit is excellent. Too. Yep. The fit for me was the the. Kind you come of back to us, Phil. Knockout yeah. punch, but. If I'm investing 150, 200 bucks in a jersey, I want it to feel like a jersey. Right. I don't want to wear a Reebok. I want to wear a hockey sweater. I don't want to wear a, a Reebok with a hockey T-shirt. I want to wear a hockey sweater. I don't mind if a jersey's light. If I, depending on the time of the year, really. Sure. Right. Because I, I wear them and at work year almost year round. There's no summer at school, obviously. Yeah. But uh, beyond like so, I it it, it says I don't mind it as much. But you're right. The you want a quality feel right. most of it, especially if you're paying like a full price. You want the quality feel for sure. And what I like about it is that so pro player, despite being the on ice customizer for like ten teams, they did all the replicas for all the teams. So I can justify going through and getting the ninety nine two thousand patch and try and find all the pro player teams. At some point, I'd like to do that. Um, but it was such a quick entrance and then a quick exit like mm-hmm. boom and they're yep. gone i believe that they were acquired by nike or 
Fruit of the Loom or who is a subsidiary of this company, who is a subsidiary of this company. It was crazy to follow the the trail, but um, it was it was unfortunate. But this, I I love I love the feel of these things. Well, thanks to our scorekeeper, this is a very easy <laughs> challenge. We don't have to just I mean, look unless you want to comment on who's the second best. I, I think I look. I think CCM. I think people just know CCM better. How many people own a Bauer? Do you own a Bauer jersey? Actually, that's what I want to know. Right. Have you actually experienced Bauer or any other manufacturer? Because you can go back as Nike, uh, Eagle Sports did uh, Philadelphia. Yeah. I have one. It's an old Mercier's jersey from Hooters Sports. Nice. Not related to the restaurant. Nice. But like, what what's your most ridiculous manufacturer out there? How about that? So here's the the weird thing. CCM is still the official manufacturer for uh, the AHL. Mm -hmm. You so, can pull a couple. If you see my Hershey jersey, though, you can pull it out. You have uh, not quick enough. There's here. an oil. There's an Erie Otters one right there. Is this the Otters one? No. Nope. A little bit further. Oh. Nope. Keep going. Nope. Blue Keep shoulders. Going. Oh, this one right here. No, that one's Reebok. Uh -huh. Um, they were Reebok for a bit. Bears. I see bears. Oh, this one right here. The brown yeah. one. Yeah, there it is. Oh yeah, I do like the CCMs. I, I yeah no, I, if this one the contract would be very happy. They're nice. It's um, a weird collar, but I'll get over that. Yeah, but the weight has definitely we've definitely moved into much different uh, um, fabrics, and the purpose of the jersey is to be faster mm -hmm. and quicker on the ice, and it is translated to everybody needing to be faster and quicker in the stadium too. I don't, I don't think it, it's. It's not disappointing to own its weight. No, not at all. It's um, not disappointing. But it's it's the only thing I hate, honestly, is how big this chunky thing is, and they insist on it. Like no matter what, it has to be a big bold thing with this cut of fabric. Well, you gotta know who makes it. Oh yeah, no, you gotta know. <laughs> but you're telling me if they didn't win the contract for NHL, they would cut that down a little bit. Oh no, they, no, no, absolutely. Because with the Reebok and the Reeboks and how many of those? Doesn't Reebok own CCM? Which um, Adidas owns. They did. They've yeah. been spun off, I think, now. But like I just like if you look at the cut of that under the, the sleeve, look how much space is under there. And it's not fanning out as a dress. It it's bigger on the top because, you know, unless you have a gut, which some of us do, most people are top chest heavy. So like it it fits you better. Yeah. And that's would have been a very good that's choice. Perfect. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. So, I mean, uh, talk about your manufacturers. That's that's what we want in the comments. Uh, the obscure ones, the good ones, the bad ones. Um, what do we miss in this? Uh, <laughs> we all know what Phil missed, but uh, oh, it's an interesting man. video. It's an interesting talk. Pro player. How much have you heard about pro player lately? So, he's Shrems. I'm John. Phil, take us out. Well, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, hit the bell so you get notifications of other videos that we post. And come back for another episode of Ugly thirds. Shame. Shame, Philip.